Testing one, two, three. This is an audio level. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Let me know when you're good to go. Well, uh, benvenuti a tutti in questa mattinata speciale, forse Italia. All right, let's get on to why we're here. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's important that we, as a, an opposition, are out in the community talking to people and making sure they know that they matter in every part of Queensland. And we are a better, more effective opposition when we do so. And today, the entire Shadow Cabinet will be in the Moreton Bay. Uh, we'll be meeting with small and family business owners, their staff. We'll be meeting with people in the council, talking about infrastructure delivery. And one of the most important things we'll be talking about is the state of the health system in Queensland. And we've asked the government to use the day of estimates that were set aside for the Premier. It's been put forward to facilitate her trip to Tokyo. We've been asked for that day to be used specifically for health. Now, I don't think that's too much to ask. Make no mistake, Queensland Health is in crisis. And if you value transparency, we as an opposition should have every chance to be able to ask those questions for the sake of all Queenslanders. Queensland Health is in crisis, and I don't think one extra day of questioning is too much to ask if you value a little bit of transparency and a little bit of openness. And we want to see that facilitated immediately. I might hand over to David to say a few words. Um, the estimates process over the last couple of years has become a farce. Uh, Labor chairs protecting Labor ministers from answering questions, running protection rackets, ministers ducking and weaving. It's a time for transparency. Uh, and Queensland Health is in crisis. And we do need this extra day of scrutiny uh, because the government must come clean where the money is being spent and how it is being spent. And on, a, on, on uh, the case for business and another reason why we need increasing scrutiny on this government, we have seen now uh, weeks of the opposition calling for a uh, small business package to help small and family businesses deal with this COVID crisis. Uh, it is a time for certainty in uncertain times so that small and family businesses can invest, grow and trade. Uh, it's what small business and family business desperately needs and it's time for this government to deliver this package to provide some certainty for our very important small and family business sectors. Queensland Health is in crisis because the Queensland Government is losing control of health. Here we are at Redcliffe Hospital today where 50% of patients are ramped for longer than necessary. One in three of those are on a, ramp, on a stretcher for longer than they need to be. We have over 10,000 patients waiting uh, on a waiting list for their surgery and over 40,000 patients um, waiting on the waiting list. This is a government that is losing control of health. If the health minister can't afford an extra day to, of scrutiny, then she shouldn't even be there in her job. This is the most important crisis that this uh, state has had. I'm the Shadow Minister for Health and Ambulance Services. I want to be asking questions about ramping, about code yellows, about our waiting list for the waiting list, about our surgical waiting list. And if the Health Minister is so arrogant that she can't turn up for another day, then she doesn't deserve to be in her job. Well, revelations today that uh, matters haven't been resolved in relation to the Brisbane Inner City South State Secondary College uh, are just extraordinary. Uh, it's over a year since the Crime and Corruption Commission handed down its uh, damning uh, findings in relation to uh, political interference with the appointment of a principal uh, at that school. Uh, this bureaucratic bungling is costing Queenslanders time and money. It needs to be fixed. It needs to be sorted once and for all. I just, just want to be really, really definitive about this. Queensland Health is in crisis and a little bit of scrutiny right now is needed more than ever. Lives are on the line and we have every right to ask these questions on behalf of Queenslanders and if the government has nothing to hide, they'll front up and do another day. Uh, I think we've got some Have questions. Got questions on, uh, on um, well, well, Townsville's been the forgotten city in this uh, quarantine bungle and the city was shut down and I've spoken with operators both in Townsville as well as on the island, 
and they need a bit of help at the moment. And they've got nothing. No business support package and now no voucher scheme. And we're going to continue to fight for that city to be represented and for that city to get a fair share. And it just beggars belief why three local members, not one of them have come out and called it for what it is, and that is the city needs a hand up at the moment. And we back the voucher program. We have consistently. We think it's the first of what needs to be many steps to provide a bit of certainty in uncertain times. But why you would omit providing some form of assistance to the city that was impacted so hardest by this beggars belief. And it's time for the three members to do their job. Get a voice, grow a spine, have a go in advocating for that city because it needs it right now more than ever. Um, oh, and, um, uh, sorry, I've also been asked about um, the, the crime stats as well. Um, look, one month of good data is welcomed, but it's going to take a long time to turn around law and order in the north. And make no mistake, until we restore breach of bail as an offence in this state, you will continue to see crime be at the forefront of people's lives in Townsville and we are fighting for that change because the way people feel and the safety long term, not just one month of data, but the long term safety of people in the north relies on more police on the ground and a stronger justice system to protect them. And we're going to keep fighting for a breach of bail to be restored because without it, you'll continue to see crime be a big issue. Righto. Thanks all.